Hello wonderful Scouters, Glenn here and as you can see I'm at home today because it's really cold outside so we're going to be doing some knots today instead inside where it's nice and warm. So we're going to be doing two knots, we're going to do our reef knot today and we're also going to do, let's see, a clove hitch. So we're going to do a clove hitch today and a reef knot, nice and easy. We're also going to be using licorice string and the reason why we're using that is because it tastes great. And if I get the knot right, I can reward myself by eating it, all right? So, I'm gonna move my camera so you can see my hands, all right? So if you give me a second, I'll move my camera so we can all see what my hands are doing. Let's have a look here. Now, I'll just move that down a little bit. Hopefully, we'll get that about the right angle. I reckon, right about there. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna try our reef knot first. And there's a nice little rhyme that we say. And the rhyme that we say is left over right and under, right over left and under. Now, if you don't know your left and your right, don't worry. We've got something to help you with. We're going to use a very small knife and fork. So we're going to say, there's our, right there, just move the camera a bit more. I'll put my, all the way around my knife and fork down. So we're gonna say, fork over night and under, knife over fork and under. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna show you how this is done. I'm gonna get my licorice strawberry string here. I've got my fork hand and my knife hand. And here we go. So we go, look at the two bits of licorice strawberry lace here. We're gonna go fork, over knife and under so it looks like that all right then we go knife that's this side over the fork and under and we pull it tight and if we've got it right it'll look all nice and smart like that all right that's both sides of it and because we've got it right i can eat it Mm. <laughs> brilliant so we're going to go again okay got make sure we've got enough to play with so we don't run out of space fork over knife and under and pull it tight a little bit so it looks a bit like that then knife over fork and under Pull it tight. Looks like that. It's a good knot to use that one because it's nice and flat. So if you want to wear it, it's not uncomfortable. So we sometimes use it in first aid when we're making our slings for broken arms and things like that. So it fits nice and flat against your skin, you see. Nice and flat, nice and flat and not uncomfortable at all. I'll just untie it. So we'll do it one more time, nice and slow. With our knife and our fork, so we know which ones, which hands we're going to move. So, here we go. Fork over the knife, like that. Roll it under. So we've got a nice little twist in the middle there. And then we go knife over the fork, and under, and we pull it slowly tight and it makes that nice pattern that we saw earlier. All right, that's our reef knot, nice and easy. Now, we're going to do a clove hitch. A little bit more complicated, this one. I'll move my knife and fork. We're only gonna be doing two twists, and that's roughly about it, nice and easy. So, we've got our piece of string here. And we're going to see this one here. I'm going to twist this side. So I twist it and move it closer. Can you see how that loop gets made there? Can you see that? Looks like that, look. Do that again. I'm going to twist this side, my knife side, so it makes a loop like that. So the string is on the top side. This side's the top side, all right? I'm just going to hold that in my finger and my thumb. 
So I've got it saved for later. So don't let go of that. Keep it in your finger and your thumb. Then on this side, again, make another twist. Just like that. So now you've got two loops. And if you look, the string is on the top of both sides. Look, it's on the top of both sides. On this side, it's on the top as well. Just like that, it's on the top of both sides, look. See? Then we take our knife side and just put it on the top of the other loop. If we put our finger through it, then pull it slowly tight, like that. Pull it slowly tight. And just, there we go. And believe it or not, not, haha, <laughs> Believe it or not, that is a clove hitch. And we know it's a clove hitch because it's got a cross on the top. You see the cross on the top? There it is. That's a clove hitch. Nice and easy. Not difficult and not complicated. And we use that for tying logs together and things like that. So when we go rafting, when we're bigger, we can put our logs together and use that to, to lash things together. It's a good lashing knot, this one. So I'll take it apart and do it again. Right, so we've got our piece of string, we'll make sure it's nice and long, we've got, we've got enough space on there. And we twist our knife side like we did with our reef knot. We twist it, so we've got a loop with the string on the top look. We hold it between our finger and our thumb, save it for later. Then we make another loop, like that, so we've got two loops. Oops, so we've got two loops with our string on top of both. And because we like things to be on top, we put this loop on top of the other, just cross it over like that, so it's on top. I'm gonna then post my finger through there and pull it tight, like that. There we go, nice and tight. And that's our clove hitch with our cross on the top so we know it's tied right. The back of it's nice and neat, it's just two little loops like that, it's nice and neat. Put that there like that, look. Nice and neat. There's our clove hitch with a cross on the top. It doesn't look like it's gonna be very strong, but it really holds things together quite well. All right, so do one more time, and then we'll go on to our tying our shoelaces. Here we go again. This is our knife side, we are. Let's get my knife back up. Knife me fork. It's too close, isn't it? There we go, it's our knife and our fork. So we've got our knife side, that's this side. We're gonna twist it. So we've got a loop, like that, with the string on top. We hold it, and our finger and our thumb, so we don't lose it and keep it for later. Then we do it again with our knife side. Twist it to make another loop with our string on top. Then again with our knife side, put it on top of the other loop. So they're on top of each other, look, like that. Put our finger through it. And then, just pull it tight, like that. Get that out of the way. There we have it. It's a bit. There we go. There's our clove hitch. You can see. I'm trying to bet that right there. So we've got the cross on the top. And just move, slide it around a little bit so you can see it. There's our cross on the top. Look. So we know that's a decent clove hitch. That is. All right. Nice and simple. Nice and easy. Now. Now we're going to go on to tying a shoelace. I'll have to try and make some space for my camera here. Now, here we go, tying our shoelace. I'm gonna do this in a way that I can wedge my shoe, but you can still see the camera. Right, so, we got our shoe, and if we think back to our reef knot, we're gonna start very similar. So it's a similar start, so we've got a nice twist at the start there, look. All right, well, let it be again. 
we've got our two laces, we start similar to our reef knot at the very beginning. All right? So one goes under the other, and it makes a twist, doesn't it? Just like our reef knot. So there again. There we go. That's the first bit. Then we're gonna make a little rabbit ear, like that. See my rabbit ear? There it is. Now pay attention to where my thumb is. We're gonna need that in a minute. All right, so that's me, that's me rabbit ear. This side is gonna go round my rabbit ear. And it's also gonna go around my thumb. See that? It's gonna round the rabbit ear and my thumb. Now the reason why I want my thumb there is because this piece of string that I've just wrapped around my rabbit ear and my thumb is gonna go where my thumb is and push it out the way. So you see that? I'm pushing my thumb out the way. See that there? Push my thumb out the way and I put the string through. And then I've grabbed hold of it and pulled it tight. And that's my shoelaces tied. Easy, yes? So, I'll do it again. So we're gonna start off like our reef knot earlier, just like that. Excuse me, my camera being in the way there. Then I'm gonna make a little rabbit ear. And hold it with my thumb. And my thumb's important, because we're gonna be shoving that out of the way in a minute. So we're gonna make another rabbit ear by going around the first rabbit ear and catching my thumb in the way, just like that. So it's round the rabbit ear. Excuse my hands are getting in the way of the camera. And it's gonna catch my thumb in there. Then because we don't want my thumb there anymore, we're gonna shove it out of the way and make another rabbit ear, like that. There we go. That's our laces tied. Should we do it one more time? Yeah, why not? This one's not quite so much fun as the other one because I can't eat this one, can I? But we're going to do it anyway. Not eat it, tie it. All right? So here we go. Nice and close to the camera. So we start off like our reef knot. Make sure it's nice and tight. Then we make our rabbit ear. Like that, with our thumb holding it and our finger. A bit like the, uh, the clove hitch. I'm going to go round that string and catch on my thumb. Then we're going to shove my thumb out of the way. And that's our laces tied. All right. Now, hopefully, we've picked up one or two tips and tricks today with that sort of thing. Excuse me, my camera's all over the place. And that is roughly all we have time for today. So thank you for joining me. And any questions, of course, hit the link below and we'll see you on our next video. And uh, until then, keep scouting. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.